let's create a simple table inside Adobe Illustrator. So first we need to go to the line tool and select the rectangular grid tool. With this tool selected, simply click one time at the canvas and you will get this pop-up. In this pop-up you can select the width and the height of your grid slash table and you can select the amount of horizontal dividers and vertical dividers. The dividers is how you select the amount of rows and columns. Horizontal dividers is rows and vertical dividers is columns. But because it says dividers and not rows, it means that these are the amount of lines that goes between the rows and the columns and not the columns and rows themselves. This means that you need to type in one less divider than the amount of rows you need. So for my example in this table, I will have 5 rows and 5 columns. This means that I need to type in 4 horizontal dividers and 4 vertical dividers. Then simply click OK. And here what I explained is more obvious. As you can see, these are the dividers. So I have 4 dividers, but I have 5 columns. Ok, so with that out of the way, let's move on to the text. And you need to understand that tables inside Adobe Illustrator does not behave the same way as in InDesign. Because Illustrator is a graphical program and InDesign is a layout program. This means that InDesign has a lot more features when it comes to layout. In Illustrator, a table is basically just a graphical grid with text layered on top of it. So select the type tool, click one time a random place and type in some placeholder text. Now make the text a little bit bigger and you can select the font and the size that you want. Now grab the text and move it inside the first cell. Then zoom very tight into the first cell. Select the text again and drag the text all the way to the left until it snaps and move it all the way to the top like this. Now move a little bit to the right so you can see the first two cells. Then hold down the ALT key to duplicate the text. And while duplicating the text, hold down the SHIFT key to make sure it aligns. And move this all the way to the right until it snaps to the left side of the second cell. Now zoom out. And to repeat the step we just did, simply click CTRL D. Now pick the selection tool, select all the text, minus the grid. Then zoom into these two cells. Pick the selection tool and copy the text the same way as we did before. So hold down the ALT key to duplicate, duplicate the text, hold down the SHIFT key to make sure it aligns and simply drag this text all the way down to the second cell right here. And make sure it aligns the same way to the top. Then zoom out again and to repeat the step, click CTRL D until all the cells are filled. Now pick the selection tool, select all the text minus the cell Zoom in a little bit and pick the selection tool again. And now with the arrow keys, we can move the text to be exactly where we want. So I will hold down the shift key to make the arrow keys do larger increments and click one time to the right and one time down. So here is our layout. So if we start typing in some text, we can just type in right here. You can see that the text is not automatically adjusting to the table. So you need to manually press enter when you reach the end of the cell. And if you want to customize the table, simply pick the selection tool, click on the cells and from here you can change the stroke width or down here you can change the stroke color or you can even select a fill color for your table.